everybody how's it going in this video i'm going to solve the arch linux virtual box uh, screen resization problem so as you can see the if i try to actually resize the screen on my arch linux installation in the virtual box it is not working this one I faced it in the previous video if you have watched it you may remember that after I installed i3 and ly login manager I came across this problem so I'm going to solve it it should be rather straightforward I have done a bit of research on my side and I came across this arch wiki page basically they suggested to install some packages via pacman and that should take care of it under this section install the guest additions there are two packages available one is if you have x or graphical user interface installed and another one if you are just using the the arch linux in the terminal so for my case i'm going to install this one however i also read that uh, i have to check the version of the package with the version of my virtual box and ensure that they match so here it matches 6116 6116 in your case if it does not match so you have two approach one is try to upgrade your virtual box host machine or alternatively you can try install the guest additions via the cd image or iso i personally do not like this approach because usually it fails and it is a bit difficult to troubleshoot so I go with the easier route, which is installing them through Pacman. So before starting the installation process, we have to check for some settings as well. The only thing that we may have to make sure that the graphics controller under display tab is set to VMSVGA and not anything else and optionally uh, disable the 3d acceleration if you are not doing any fancy stuff because the 3d acceleration driver to my experience it is kind of buggy but, so if you don't need it disable it and you can enable it back anytime you wish so that's pretty much it for settings let's go through the installation process so first f so the third the, the, the only thing after installing the the pacman package what we have to do is to enable it also through system system t so we have to enable the virtual box service module so that should be all about it so we can try and see whether it works or not so first let me start with the virtualbox guest pacman package try to enable it using system city command all right it has created the sim link it looks promising let's restart it screen has resized now let me see the full screen mode is working or no so okay it is not working I know the reason 
Yeah, I have to enable auto resized guest display. So when once I do that, it should work properly. And even resizing in the window mode now should work. So as you can see, the i3 panel it resizes correctly. So that is for for the situation that we have X installed. But what if we don't have X installed? As I have mentioned, I have to install no X package, but there are some tricks to it. It is not that straightforward. So let's go to the display option again for the no X one. As you can see, I have set the graphics controller to VBox VGA, not to VMS VGA. So make sure that you have this one set to VBox VGA, otherwise it does not work. That's the only option that we have to take care of it. And after that, we can try to install the the, the package and see whether it works or no. So this virtual box that I'm running, it has no graphical user interface or xorg installed. It's just pure terminal and I created for the purpose of this video. And let's try to install the package now. Pacman, sorry, virtual box. So you see no X and, and like the previous system, let's try to enable the this virtual box through system CTL. Okay, it has enabled successfully and let's do a reboot. Let me try to go to the full screen mode. Still, it is not working. So let's check the auto resize. Okay, it's auto resize, no problem. If I try to resize it here, nothing is changed. And it seems not working, but actually it works. So. There is a trick to fix it. This is, I don't know, is a bug or what, but there is a trick to fix it. So switch to the full screen mode, as I do. And then after that, I reboot the, the virtual box. After this, it should go through the full screen mode without any problem. So as you can see now, it's showing in the full screen. And if I try to switch back to the window mode, it also works. And if I go back again to the full screen, it works as well. Also, I can resize it. As you can see, it is working all right. So the trick is start the virtual machine in the full screen mode if you don't have X installed. And that should solve the problem. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great time. Bye.